Today on All Things 80s, I got a Black Series. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now recently I did a video where I gave Hasbro a really hard time over their newly announced carbon freezing chamber playset. So I thought let's give Hasbro a second chance to redeem themselves. Now as you know, I only collect vintage Kenner Star Wars, so I thought it would be interesting to get hold of a Black Series figure just to see what they're all about. Now before we get to the figure, I'm going to talk once again about packaging. So the figure I ordered was available in two formats. One was a carded version and the other was one of those standard Black Series boxes. So I thought I'll keep it traditional and order the carded version. So the box arrived today and it's a reasonably sturdy box. I opened it and was happy to see a lot of these airbag type things. So I thought to myself, this is very promising. However, upon inspecting the figure, which as you can see is the ATAT driver, uh, the bubble is beaten to crap. Uh, big ding up here, uh, it's all deformed at the side. Big ding on the bottom corner here and again on this side. So I can't say for certain that this damage happened in transit or if it was packaged like this, but either way, it's uh, completely unacceptable. So whether you're ordering from Walmart or from Amazon, uh, I would say buyer beware. So anyway, as, you, as I said, this is indeed the ATAT driver. So we're gonna go ahead and take a good look at this and do a quick comparison to the original Kenner version. Okay, so here we go looking at the Black Series ATAT driver. Now the first thing that strikes me is just the size of this thing. I had no idea that six inches could just look so big, but it really does. And just to give you some comparison, I have an original Kenner here, and this new Black Series is absolutely enormous side by side with this figure. And of course they have used the same artwork, although with this being a much bigger card, they can get more of the ATAT driver's uniform in this shot. So it's a really nice shot. Now, this of course is being listed as a, if you can see that, 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. And I mentioned that I could have had this in a box, which I believe is from a number of years back, but. I wanted the carded version. Now, aside from all the damage that's that's happened, whether or not that was Amazon's fault, I don't know, but regardless, uh, if I was a collector of these, I would be most annoyed at receiving it in this condition. Now, unlike the retro collection, the card stock is perfect. It feels as it should feel, which uh, clearly they have the stock so why they didn't use this cardboard on the retro collection is just another of these mysteries. Now on the back, there were other uh, figures that were released in this line. So I guess we've got Luke Bespin, Yoda, Princess Leia Hoth, and Han Solo Bespin. And much like retro collection, it's just littered with safety warnings. Although this is just commemorate the 40th anniversary and all that good stuff. But all of this stuff, attention and don't give it to babies. So anyway, um, looking at it as a display piece, it is rather nice, uh, but as I mentioned, it's just, it just looks enormous. But I'm gonna get this opened up and we can talk about the figure. So just as a quick side note, the inner tray is absolutely dinged to hell. So it must have received some quite some force on the bubble to have caused all the damage to the inner tray as well, but Okay, whatever. The figure, now, as I mentioned, it feels strange having a, a figure of this size in my hands. It's not something I've ever, ever had before. Um, I mean, I do like it. It's highly detailed compared to the old Kenner classics. It really is. I don't know if that's painted or a sticker. I think it's painted. Um, the articulation is like out of control on this thing. So we have like an ankle joint, uh, knee, thigh, torso, shoulder, elbow, and hands. 
and of course head does turn it also goes up and down wow then yeah this is this is really advanced stuff um i can understand people who like to make dioramas would absolutely love this for the posability wow it's 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 impressive i'll give them that you know what i, I need to give it a quick sniff nope nothing like an old-fashioned kenner um now the weapon now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe we ever saw the Attack Driver yield a weapon in The Empire Strikes Back. Um, and we know for sure he, he didn't carry a rifle around with him, so perhaps this is more accurate. Uh, the sculpting on the helmet is fantastic. So much detail here. And of course, on the old Kenner, these harnesses were painted on where they are actually like a softer, rubbery type material here. Uh, yeah, it is actually really, really nice. Um, does it have, yeah, it's got the old peg holes on the soles of the feet there, so you could put them on a stand. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess the possibilities of the posabilities are endless with these figures. Um, but the one thing that, stands out the most to me is it does not bring back any great memories for me because I, I never had figures of this scale when I was a young lad. And uh, now, speaking of being a young lad, I want to talk about the price point of these. So this figure was $20. Now, I did a quick bit of research to see how much the old Kenners would cost in today's money. So back in 1980, uh, a Kenner Star Wars figure was probably $2.50. And when you take inflation into account, that comes out to $7.78 in today's money. Now, when I was young, you could save up your pocket money for a couple of weeks and you could buy yourself a brand new Star Wars figure. So I don't know what children these days are getting in terms of pocket money, but... $20, I imagine, is not something that kids are going to be able to buy with their pocket money. Which leads me to believe that this is much more of an adult collector's item. Now, to give you some sort of comparison, the vintage collection figures, I believe, are costing about $13. Which is obviously cheaper for kids, but even then, that to me is a lot of money for an action figure. So even the vintage collection, I would imagine, are also more aimed at adults. Uh, it's just a pity that, you know, children these days probably do not play with action figures, which is quite sad, really. So this is not a cheap action figure. Um, so in a way, I'm glad that I have no desire to collect these because there are so many of them. Uh, it could end up being a rather expensive collection. Now... The other thing, I believe there are five in this wave and possibly another five Empire Strikes Back. Now, don't quote me on that. So with that being the case, you're looking at, what, $200 to, to complete this or these two waves, which is rather excessive. But uh, I have to say, well done, Hasbro. This is a very well-made figure. Uh, incredible features, incredible posability. So I guess I can understand why people are into these. Uh, just something that doesn't actually appeal to me, but I can understand why people love them. So yeah, my first and probably only ever Black Series figure, but I don't know, it's pretty good. So that was my first look at a Black Series figure. And as I mentioned in that review, it is a nice looking figure, granted, it just isn't for me. And I will not be pursuing a collection of Black Series for a number of reasons. But most importantly, holding the figure, it doesn't rekindle any great memories for me. It's just a scale thing, I guess. Um, I like holding a smaller thing in my hand. And, uh, but yeah, if you like Black Series, go for it. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of collectors out there who are actually enjoying the fact that every so many months they are getting hit with new figures or repackaged figures or whatever. But unlike me, who I know 
the extent of my collection because it ended in 85. But if you are collecting Black Series, you always have new things to look forward to. So that's a bonus, I guess. So I want to say a big thank you to the Patreons who support the channel. You guys are absolutely wonderful. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And please do stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.